All right, so some notes on your shelf production documents. So due today, you should have, I'm just going to open up the teacher copy here. You should have a minimum of five images. So I will be glancing through these. I will be at your computers talking to you about your designs, whatever the case may be. I am going to be changing the due date, okay? The due date that I will be changing it to next is the 10th because the 10th are when your slides are due. You do not need to submit this document, okay? So the 10th is when your drawings are due of all the parts that you need to have to be able to assemble your shelf. Many of these items that I'm gonna cover right now, I've discussed with you individually or I've put some notes on the board, but I do want to communicate this to you. Let's talk about the sizes of lumber. I don't wanna say that you're limited to these sizes of lumber because it's not that we can't use the table saw to rip lumber, but we're not going to waste lumber, okay? So if you are making a shelf and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to use a one by eight for the top of the shelf, which is very common. A one by eight is really three quarters by seven and a quarter. Okay. Just like a one by four is really three quarters by three and a half inches. When we make the part in the computer, we need to make it at its actual dimension. If you're making it at the size we order lumber at, and you find out when that lumber comes in, your project isn't going to assemble the same because your dimensions were incorrect, okay? So when we talk about the sizes of lumber that we have easy access to, all right? So our one by four, we're really looking at three quarters, by three and a half. When we're talking about a one by six, we're really looking at three quarters by five and a half. A one by eight, we are really looking at three quarters by seven and a quarter. So notice the change there, seven and a quarter. A one by 10, three quarters by nine and a quarter. A one by 12, three quarters by 11 and a quarter, okay? Very rarely, but occasionally, students do need to use a two by four or a two by six for the project. So a two by four, is an inch and a half by three and a half, okay? And then a two by six is an inch and a half by five and a half, same ratio we have up here. For the most part, those are the size of lumber that you should be using. Um, you can use the quarter inch lawn. If there's a reason that you need half inch plywood, we can get half inch plywood for the projects. What I don't want to see is a bunch of students turning in that everything needs to be five inches or everything needs to be six inches. If you're telling me everything needs to be six inches, we're wasting an inch and a quarter of lumber. And again, if there is a reason why in the design process that we should be using that, we will 100% do it. But we need to understand that why. We're not just going to rip it for the sake of ripping it. Okay? We're not, we don't want to waste lumber. Does that make sense? All right, so your shelf drawings are due by the 10th. Your shelf drawings are due by the 10th for every part that you need, for every part. And then your assembly is due by the 17th. Sound good? Questions on that?